hello there and welcome to my channel today we are going to talk about a technique that i use to grow my natural 4b 4c hair to at least shoulder length armpit length and it is a tried and tested technique because it got me to my goal um, i'm going to say that there are very many more techniques out there which i might mention further on in the video but this is the one that worked for me and i thought i'd share it with you perhaps it could help you on your hair journey as well so let's get into the video i just want to say that we are all individual we are all unique and our hair is unique um i have two daughters my hair is 4b uh, one is 4a and one is 4c so we all have different hair and we really do ne need to get to know our hair there's a lot of stuff out there on youtube on the internet about hair care and all of this i think the best thing for you to do is to actually have a good close-up look at your hair in the mirror what is there in front of you what can you see and i think that's the best place to start is to get to know your hair okay so coily or kinky hair is characterized by super tight curls that have tons of texture to them this is the most fragile hair type as oily hair tends to be quite fine and dries out quite quickly hence the main focus is daily hair care so it doesn't matter what we go into doesn't matter what i say in any other video the main thing is to take care of your own hair you cannot have your braids locked away for a long time and don't take care of them obviously we want to grow our own hair and that's why we are wearing these braids and stuff and so when I discovered boards I was looking for different techniques to grow my hair and um, I had to, to learn that you can't just start putting things on your hair there is an order you need to learn and research stuff and so I found that a regimen was a systematic plan to improve and maintain the health of my hair and i also discovered that a routine was the regimen that everyone should follow to keep their hair healthy and most hair damage is caused or worsened by the lack of proper or right hair care so we need a routine and a regimen and i'm gonna say this is trial and error at the start of my hair care journey there was a lot of trying to see what works for my hair you will not be able to just start and, and go and buy products even if i do recommend products they might not work for your hair which is why i said to get to know your own hair um if your skin likes something then probably your hair might like it as well and so um getting to know your own hair your own skin is very 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 important and there will be a lot of trial and error don't get disheartened if some of the stuff that you're starting on this um, hair care um, journey if they don't work out according to plan just keep going it was a lot of trial and error for myself but I got there in the end I found a technique that worked to get to grow my hair so yeah just a quick disclaimer here that this is just something that worked for me it worked very well for me and I'm by no means telling you to go and use it or to try it as I said it's trial and error um, probably try this technique if it doesn't work try something else but it certainly did work for me so the technique that I used was called the crown and glory method and it supports the use of hair extensions in braid twist or cornrows to minimize minimize hair manipulation reduce damage and achieve quicker hair length goals for this to happen great attention is given to keeping the hair moisturized at all times this method can be used without extensions um, but the main um, goal of this method is to reduce manipulation reduce damage and so you get to your hair goals quicker um, and you have to as I said before in the previous part of the video we must moisturize our hair we must care for our own hair doesn't matter how long it's locked away for um, and this technique supports that we should keep our hair moisturized while we are protective styling I couldn't get to my hair goals without protective styling another disclaimer here this technique I discovered it about 15 years ago so many very many things have changed since then but I've sort of just stuck to it I once heard someone say um, which diet is it that works and the answer to that is the one that you stick with I could say it's the same for this technique perhaps there's very many and yes there is very many more techniques out there that work but this one worked for me because I stuck around I stuck to it so the crown and glory method is the use of braiding to grow and maintain your length um, or allow your hair to grow on its own without tucking it away so you use protective styles until your hair is partial length 
being very gentle with your hair if you're going to choose not to use braids so you can choose to use braids or not to use braids i chose to use braids you will wash your hair in loose plates to protect it from tangling if you are not using braids but if you are you just go ahead and um, rinse your hair in the braids and that should be fine um, and then you're going to re-braid your hair if it is loose or if it isn't already in braid you just let it be so um, hopefully that is clear and it's, <laughs> it's there on the screen if it's not so it's just basically leaving your hair alone for as long as possible whether it is loose whether it is in braid leaving it alone um, for um, a period of time and to, 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 to maintain your, your hair goal. It also suggests to use hair cholesterol and this is because our hair needs protein. So we're gonna focus on moisturizing our hair daily and when we are washing our hair, whether it be loose or in plates, we are going to be using some sort of protein and that is in the form of hair cholesterol. And I showed you in my product stash video that I've always, I always have cholesterol in stock. So you're going to braid your hair in, um, in, 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 good, in a good synthetic hair if you are going to be using extension and you're going to leave your braids in for no longer than six weeks and you're going to rest your hair between four to six weeks after the protective style. Then you're going to re-braid your hair after the resting period. So I definitely use the modified version of this until my hair was about... Um, shoulder length i used absolutely no extensions in my hair it was just my hair being um, twisted mainly very very small left in for between three to four weeks and then rebraided um once and then after eight weeks so that's two sessions then i would rest my hair for about a week and then rebraid it okay so that you can modify this version to suit yourself after my hair was um, about armpit length or between you know shoulder length and armpit length i started to use braids synthetic braids in my hair and then i was able to leave my hair in for longer my hair does get very very frizzy um and i was obviously working in a professional environment so i needed to maintain some sort of um you know professional look and so i had to really take care of my hair um we braid it more often because it wasn't using plates um, it wasn't using extensions, but if you are using extensions, obviously you can even keep your hair in for eight weeks Then give it a resting period and then have a go at it again Just also a side note on the crown and glory technique Your hair is going to be in small braids your, or small twists or um, You know, it's not going to be a fun stage to do You're going to probably have to install those twists for yourself It's going to take very many hours to do so um, and then you're going to have to take those out, um, especially if you're trying the natural hair small braids method. It will require quite a lot of time to get those installed, installed and to remove them. And certainly it won't be very much fun um, styling your hair for about, after you've worn your hair for about four weeks, it starts to look really frizzy. I can't say it's the, it's the most funny stage. Um, of growing your hair but it really does work it's a technique that's solid and I've proven that it works so stick with it um, till you get to your goal and then you can mess about um, but you must keep your hair protective styled in this method be careful not to make your braids too small because that will cause damage this goes for extension um, mainly because you know you could go um, to the to the stylist and they could just really tug on your hairline tug on your nape and while you're going to be keeping your hair in for four to six weeks, um, you will obviously lose a lot of hair. And that can also cause alopecia. Be careful also not to neglect your own hair. The goal here is to protective style your hair to grow your own hair. So you want to be paying more attention to your own hair than to extensions. If you was growing your hair, just using your natural hair like I was, that's even more important. Deep condition your hair. It doesn't really mention that very much in the method, but deep condition your hair, even in small braids. The keys after you've deep conditioned it is to give your hair a really, really good rinse and get all the product out because you also want to be careful of product built up. You want to maintain your edges and your nape separate. You want to make sure that you're braiding, rebraiding them more often. So if you're going to be keeping your hair in for eight weeks, try and rebraid them three weeks at a time because you don't want to take that style out, gain all of that length in the middle and then you have no nape 
and no edges. Um, so rebraid those more often. You don't want to leave your braid in too long. That, that is a mistake there. But you don't want to leave your, 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 your braids in for a very long time. Because if you go like say 12 weeks, really radical, especially if you've got extension, you might have um, the line of demarcation between the braid and your hair where there's product build up and you might actually just end up losing your, your hair. So you do want to pay attention to what is going on in your hair. Goes back to another point. Try to have a good... Um, hairstylist person to install the braids better yet install them by yourself there's very many more videos on youtube showing you how to do your own braids if you're going to use extensions or not um there's very many videos because if you go to a hairstylist that is really going to pull tight on your hair as i said to you it really defeats the object you're actually damaging your scalp and losing a lot of progress um so thank you so much for stopping by my channel Hopefully this video has helped you in some way. I've reviewed the crown and glory technique that got me to at least armpit length. And as I said, I did use another technique to get further in my um, hair growing journey. But that I will share that with you in another video. So I just want to say thank you so much for stopping by my channel. It really means a lot to me to know that the hard work that I put into this video, that someone out there wants to see it. Um, if you like content like this, please consider subscribing to my channel. I hope you are well. I hope you are having a good day and here is a scripture to encourage you. See you in the next video.